Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Kath Walden, or Catherine, and I have been wondering what to do with this channel for a while, but I've been feeling the Lord's prompting me, and you'll understand as we go on further on in this video. He's been prompting me to step out more, and I think he's calling some of you to be stepping out in whatever way you can, wherever you happen to be. And for those of you who don't know a little bit about me, uh, my name is Kath, or Catherine, and I have written blogs for over 25 years now. And many of them, not all of them, but many of them can be found at katherinewalden.com, which is my website. I've also written three devotional books made up of some of the devotionals that are actually not on the website anymore because I put them into a book. But saying all that, I'm not here to promote my books. I'm here because God is challenging me. And what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be reading my blogs to you because we're in this day and age where people are on the go constantly and they might not have time to even read a 350 word blog and I totally understand that there's no judgment here not throwing anybody under the bus but I want to spread God's good news and his hope to as many people in whatever way I can God called me to the internet in 1994 I was a missionary for many years and I had to retire very early because I had a progressive neurological condition that was progressive and I could no longer do the work that uh, I needed to do because I just simply did not have the mobility to be able to do that. But God said, no, 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 you're not just going to sit there. I've called you as a missionary. I've called you to be a light to the world. And we're going to work around this and find a way that you can continue to do the mission that I called you to. So that is who I am. That is what I'm about. And let's go on with the blog. You have a choice. And you must make the choice to be a part of a positive change in your world in an active way or to sit and watch the world go by. Let's go for it. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. J.R.R. Tolkien, The Fellowship of the Rings. Simply stating that these are crazy times would be a disservice to what can sometimes feel like a heavy burden as we consider what is happening in the world around us. This is not a video about end time theology at all. However, I can guarantee that some people will speculate that I am addressing whatever political party they feel will solve all their nation's problems or cause all their nation's problems or whatever end time theology they stridently pledge their allegiance to. But nevertheless, we all live in these days. And as of October 2024, when I'm recording this, anybody listening to this went through 2020. Some of us did okay. Some of us caved into fear. Some of us put our heads in the sand. And some of us rose to the challenge and made a difference. And today I came across that quote from J.R.R. Tolkien and it resonated within me. God nudged me, reminding me that I have to make a choice to simply exist in this time or to actively make a difference. And today, God is challenging you to consider this. Are you actively contributing to a positive shift in the atmosphere in the region where you live? Or are you waiting for someone else to champion your cause? It's not by accident that you were born to be alive this very day. Whenever you're watching this, go forth and advance the kingdom of love, grace, and hope. You have the power to shape the world around you. You were born for such a time as this, and God says to you, 
Are you continuing to hide your light under a bushel of fear and suspicion and self-preservation? As Mordecai said to Esther when she was faced with the grave decision to either retreat into self-preservation and just see what happened, or to step forward in courage to save her people, the fact is, even if you remain silent right now, someone else will help and rescue the Jews. But you and your relatives will die. And who knows, you may have gained your royal position for such a time like this. Esther 4.14 The Bible says we are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. It's not just a nice title. It is a responsibility. Any good royal member knows that their royal position is not one of entitlement. It is one of responsibility. You are a part of the royal priesthood. If you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have got the responsibility as a royal representation of him to make a difference in the world around you.